Yes, that is right, that is the theme from Czech composer Antonin Dvizek's Allegro con Fuerco, Symphony No. 9, From the New World. What am I going on about? Well, the thing I just mentioned has almost the exact same start as John Williams' score for Jaws. And today's box is, of course, Jaws. Ta da! Yes, we are back once again with a Doctor Collector unboxing, and this time it's Jaws, and this is a much, much bigger box. There's a link, and the prices and all that will be down below in the description and on the comments. But of course, this is the infamous Jaws. You should all know by now what Jaws is. Amity Island Summer of 75. Yes, Jaws the film from 1975 by Steven Spielberg based on Peter Benchley's novel of the same name from 1974. And this is a kit containing lots and lots of stuff. I was actually expecting it to show the stuff on the back. Apparently it doesn't, but there you go. Amity Island, would you dare spend a vacation there? Well, probably not because that is where Jaws is set. Right, enough of that, let's get this open and let us begin. Our unboxing. Ooh. So the first thing we have is a page from the Amity Gazette. Saturday, July the 5th, 1975. Shark claims its fourth victim on July the 4th. Ooh. Yes, the Amity Gazette, of course, set in the fictional place of Amity Island, because Amity Island isn't actually real. It's a fictional island off Long Island, New York. The actual film was filmed in Martha's Vineyard, I want to say, in Massachusetts. I think. I think that's what it was. This is... Oh, I've just damaged it. Good start. But this is all about Expert Shark Hunter. That's probably about uh, Quint, because he hunts sharks. Fifth Annual Regatta, because that's what's going on. Karate Chop Fence is in town, because the Karate Kid was about, apparently. I don't know. And it's Pipette, the fifth victim. What? The dog was last seen shortly before... Oh, the dog was killed by the shark? Well, that was never in the film, was it? <gasps> I don't know. I'm not going to read all of this, but that's a nice little... See, I think this box is good if you're a fan already. This is the kind of stuff you stick in a frame, but you probably don't damage it like I do. The next thing out of this box is slightly odd. It appears to just be a letter. Someone, dear Jackie, how are you? How's your poor leg? Uh, this appears to be, just scanning over it, from someone who's gone to Amity Island for the regatta, been on a fishing trip, it looks like someone's been attacked. Yeah, shark attacked a child. So this is like a first-hand account of their experience there from someone called Brooke. So this is basically a background to Jaws done as a, like a letter done on a typewriter. That's interesting. I'm not gonna read it out because it'll take forever. So yeah, that's actually quite a clever way to give you the history of Jaws. The next item is a ferry round trip ticket. Oh, it's a ticket on the ferry that's going around Amity Island. Ice cream at Towers, hot dogs, fireworks on board, barbecue and open bar, $28 for two adults. Is that good? I don't know. Sounds good. There's a little ticket number there. That's quite nice. This, this stuff would look good in a frame. Again, it's that sort of ridged card with the weird egg-shaped colouring on. And now it's upside down. Friday the 4th of July, 1975. So this is all just sort of stuff that links to Jaws in some way. Coupons! Who doesn't want coupons for Fogarty Photography? <laughs> what? Half <laughs> off film developing because you used to have to develop film. It wasn't all digital. Amity Beach Arcade. Oh, I love a good beach arcade. There's some amazing ones in New Jersey, uh, which weirdly enough is where Jaws is kind of set, or at least people think it's set. Uh, Randy Bear Tavern. I'm sorry, what is the name of your place? The Randy Bear Tavern. Amity Island's bait and tackle because you get bull sharks there as well, apparently. Which I think was the original story. It was an attack by a bull shark, not a great white. Uh, yeah, it's basically a bunch of coupons for things that are happening around Amity Island. That's an interesting little thing. Like the greatest of value. And for some reason, they're obsessed with putting Universal City Studios across it. Kind of ruins it a little bit. More paper. Yes, Killer Shark Amity Arcade. It's just an advert for the arcade game for Killer Shark in the Amity Island Arcade. Visitors from May 1st to September 15th. 
Oh, there we go. George is a trademark copyright universal studio. Can they not put that on the back instead of sticking it like down here? Just a thought. Ooh, there's actually some interesting stuff coming up in this box. So hold tight. Stickers! Amity Island bait and tackle. Showing a bull shark, because that's normal. And then Amity Island. Go in the water. No, don't go. If that's in the water, don't go in the water. That's going to nibble your feet off. I'm just saying. Anyway, two little stickers. Postcard. What place isn't complete without a postcard for Amity Island? Welcomes you. That looks like a postcard from a horror film. Like, I'm not even joking. That is a very horror looking postcard. I'm definitely going to frame this stuff. I've already decided. But yes, postcard, because obviously you're visiting somewhere. Get a postcard, a map. Yes, a map of Amity Island. Uh, I can't remember the budget of yours, but I think it was quite low, like 8 million or something, and it made. I think like 400 million at the box office. It was insane. It was also over budget. The shark, which was mechanical, constantly failed. So that's why you don't actually see it a lot until one hour and 20 odd minutes in. Kind of clever. If you're making a horror, don't show the thing that's horrific. People's minds are much worse. Leave it till much later on. Aliens does it well. Other films. The Amity Island Tour Guide, 1975. Oh, and there is Amity Island. <laughs> Avril Island, named after Avril Lavigne. So yeah, it looks, I think, like a map. Oh, that's quite nice. Hopefully there's no light like glaring off it today. Apologies for the last video. That looks like a realistic map that you would find. Amity Karate School. I knew the Karate Kid was in this somewhere. Amity Music Shop and then all the different places. Amity Bank, liquor stores, bait and tackle, <laughs> the store. Apparently that's a place. That's all right. And then this is where everything happens, I guess, in the beach. Honestly, the beach looked a lot bigger in the film. Or maybe that was just me. But apparently, this is where the shark goes, Arrgh! You know, like the noises sharks do. Beach closed by order of Amity Police Department. Uh, weirdly, it took so, so long for the film for them to actually close the beach. And this is supposed to be like a little bit of the uh, plastic tape they put around to stop people crossing onto the beach. Which didn't really work from what I remember at all. In fact, it couldn't have worked because there was like four sequels, three sequels. Is there four sequels to Jaws? I can't remember. They're all progressively worse. And I think Michael Caine stars in one and it's one of the worst rated films of all time. So, you know, don't always make sequels, maybe. Badges. This one. Amity Island and some surfer person from New England, USA. It looks kind of retro. It's decent enough because people like to surf. And then re-elect Larry Vaughan for Mayor 75. Larry Vaughan, of course, was the mayor of Amity Island trying to get re-elected. He had good intentions. He was just a bit of a... Is idiot too strong of a word? Because he wouldn't close the beaches and then people were dying and he was like, oh dear, I think we might have an issue. So yes, Larry Vaughan. Wooden shark keyring. Because <laughs> who doesn't want one? Quint, charter fishing. <gasps> Quint, what a guy. Uh, Quint was played by Robert Shaw. He's a shark hunter. Probably the best thing in the film. He's the one that goes out on the boat with uh, Brody, the chief of police, and uh, Hooper? Hooper? Hopper? Hooper. I think it's Hooper, the oceanographer played by uh, Richard Dreyfus, who, spoiler alert, dies in the book. Doesn't die in the film, he does die in the book. That's a true story. Well, it's a true story of make believe from a work of fiction based on real events that may or may not have happened, but they did somewhere, but not like the film. But sort of, but not quite. Makes sense? Okay, good, let's move on. Bruce! Yes, we have a little squeaky Bruce, and it says Amity Island. Is that a great white or a bull shark? It's very confusing. But yes, we have Bruce, because Steven Spielberg named the shark Bruce. Uh, Steven Spielberg actually appears in the film twice, as far as I'm aware. But yeah, it's just like a squeaky little squid. Oh, it's not even squeaky. It's not a squeaky little, it's a squidgy little toy of a great white shark, or possibly a bull shark. This isn't going to fit in view at all. <laughs> okay, this is quite clearly a massive beach towel. Oh, how do I get into it? I can't, why would you, you I, how do I, where's the, is it not? I've just got to, oh, okay, I see. You've actually got to rip it open to get into it. <sighs> oh, oh. Oh, that's a good quality beach towel, that. Right. Oh, I think I know what this picture is. Oh, this is this is going to be too big. <laughs> I won't be able to show it all. Right. So, you've got the sun, and it says... Hold on. This is really difficult. <laughs> Amity Island. And then, there's a woman. 
who's going, yay, look at me. I can s sail on a thing. I don't know what's going on there. Uh, yeah, Amity Island welcomes you. It's really hard to get. How do we, I can't get my camera any high up on the ceiling if I tried. Basically, this is the image you see in the background a lot, where the Amity Island welcomes you and this woman, and then you see the people talking in front of it during the film. But that is actually a really, really, really well-made beach towel. Like, it's not the tatty ones you get in most subscription boxes. A little bit of effort's gone into that, and I quite like it. So that is the Jaws box from Dr. Collector. We've got Karate Kid, and we've got Jurassic Park, which I'm really looking forward to. I want to get the Fallout one, that's in pre-order, and the Back to the Future one is already sold out, which is annoying, because that one looked massive. But still, uh, let me know your thoughts down below. I realise some people go, it's just full of paper and it's a bit of tat. I mean, I have the same opinion on autographs. It's just a piece of paper with some ink on. Technically, it's tat. So it depends. If you're a moviegoer and you love Jaws, this is pretty good. Uh, leave links down below in the description and the comments. But let me know your thoughts. If you want to support, you can head over to Patreon. Uh, I have a shop, joelwallet.shop, where I sell things that I don't keep because I get a lot of stuff and I can't keep it all. Anyway, like, subscribe, do all that, and in the meantime, be happy, be free, keep it awesome, and I will catch you next time. Bye-bye! Nailed, nailed the outro again. Awesome.